Hello, in this video, we're going to cover Unreal Engine's new pricing structure. Although, if you're a game developer, you don't need to worry. These changes don't apply to you, but for other industries like film and TV. Let's get into it. At last year's Unreal Engine Fest, held in New Orleans, Unreal Engine revealed their plan to introduce a seat-based enterprise pricing model, targeting industries beyond gaming starting in 2024. This new pricing model is set to debut with Unreal Engine 5.4 in late April. It's important to know Unreal Engine will continue to be freely accessible for students, educators, hobbyists and companies with less than 1 million in annual gross revenue. Their licensing model for game developers will remain the same, which is that if you earn over $1 million in lifetime gross revenue, the first million dollars that you make with your game in Unreal Engine will remain exempt from royalties and revenue, and then you'll have to start paying a 5% royalty on any revenue that you earn past $1 million. So, what's changing for the non-game industries? They're introducing a new seat-based Unreal subscription with the release of Unreal Engine 5.4. The annual fee per seat will be $1,850, with regional pricing options available in specific countries. You'll only need to pay for seats if you meet the following criteria. Your company generates more than $1 million in annual gross revenue. You don't develop games. Your applications relying on Unreal Engine code at runtime aren't licensed to third-party end users. With the seat-based subscription, you can create linear content such as films, TV shows, architectural visualization, and graphics for broadcasts and live events. Products utilizing Unreal Engine code at runtime, not licensed to third parties, e.g. product configurators used internally or externally. Immersive experiences not directly sold to individuals like theme park rides and interactive architectural walkthroughs. If you're creating a non-game application, licensed to third-party end-users relying on Unreal Engine code at runtime, royalties apply similar to game developers. You'll pay a 5% royalty on products exceeding 1 million in lifetime gross revenue. If you're currently using Unreal Engine 5.3 or earlier versions, pricing changes won't affect you until you opt to update to Unreal Engine 5.4. These changes won't apply to new or existing users of Unreal Engine 5.3 or earlier. They're only applicable to users of Unreal Engine 5.4 and onwards. You have the option to purchase seats on a fixed user basis, with users holding admin rights capable of manually transferring seats within your organization as necessary. So what's covered in an Unreal Engine subscription seat? Each seat grants a single user access to Unreal Engine 5.4 along with two Unreal Engine compatible creative tools, Twinmotion and Reality Capture. Additionally, they'll provide a 30-day free trial encompassing all three products. These tools bundled with the subscription streamline the process of building high quality 3D experiences across various industries. Their aim is to fully integrate twin motion and reality capture with Unreal Engine by the end of 2025. If you don't know, twin motion is a real time visualization tool powered by Unreal Engine that enables anyone to quickly and easily produce high quality images, panoramas, standard or 360 VR videos and interactive presentations from design data. Reality Capture, on the other hand, enables you to create ultra-realistic 3D assets and environments from photos and or laser scans. What about Twin Motion and Reality Capture as standalone products? Twin Motion and Reality Capture will still be available for individual purchase and with these updates, they're also adjusting the pricing model for standalone purchases of these applications. Individual twin motion licenses will be priced at $455 per year. As for reality capture, individual licenses will be $1,250 per year, starting with reality capture version 1.4. Similar to Unreal Engine, both twin motion and reality capture will now be free for students, educators, and hobbyists as well as for companies generating less than 1 million in annual gross revenue. Why are they implementing these changes now? Their aim is to ensure their tools remain accessible to as many individuals as possible, particularly those who are new to the field. These adjustments are crafted to establish long-term sustainability for Unreal Engine development, enabling them to consistently develop their top-tier cutting-edge creator tools to a diverse range of industries. So that's all for this video. I hope you're now informed about Unreal Engine's new pricing. 
And for more things on Unreal Engine, make sure to subscribe. And if you want to learn how to create full games inside of Unreal Engine, check out my website, Unreal Engine University. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.